is my coal pile. I had it originally started about 26 ton here. Got it from Tremont, Pennsylvania as a backhaul. Brought it back. Built a retaining wall here and just dumped it up against the house. I've been using this for about four years now and still have here out. It used to come out a little further. I was up to this plastic here, so I've used about this much so far. I use probably about two or three of these buckets a day. Just come out here every day. Three scoops per bucket. Three scoops. I keep it covered, keep the snow off of it because it'll get a crust on it so I can dig underneath here and keep nice dry coal. That way I don't have to bust up the clumps and dig off the snow. So just fill your bucket and go put it in the stove. This is my stove here. It's a Hitzler coal stove. It's plain and simple. It's nice. Power goes out. You always have heat. It's simple. It has an ash over here. A little shaker. Shake all the ash out. These welding gloves keep it from getting burnt. Just take it outside and dump it. for this year this is what I've burnt so far this year. I just come out here every day and throw the old ash out. I have a nice size pile at the end of the year. I'll just come up with the tractor and scoop it up. I just take it down and backfill with it when I'm done. Once you're done dumping the ash, you just reinsert the ash tray and close the door. So you just flip this top up here. It's got a little handle here. Just lift it up slowly. Let the gas release or we'll go through your puff. Open up the top door. Press the hole in. Close the door back up. Pull the air lock it tight. And you're good to go for another 12 hours. So run it on low to medium. Every 12 hours you can maintain it, give it a shake, top it off. Run it on high, you're probably closer to 6 to 7 hours. It, uh, burn through and you just shake it and refill it and dump the ash pan but it's very very easy that's what a coal fire looks like nice red on the bottom there's the fresh coal it actually has a, a hopper there that plate you see in front of it is actually a hopper and it feeds down in and as the the coal burns across the bottom, the ash falls to the bottom, and fresh coal comes down the chute. So you fill it from the top and gives you a lot longer running time instead of just shoveling in from the top. I know very little about coal stoves. I did some research online on the price of coal, I made some phone calls about stoves, and called a couple couple places up around where I, I hauled to. I got some prices on it and found out that it was about half the price of the wood pellets that I was burning. So I went ahead and I bought the stove and hooked it in. I already had the setup for the chimney. So I put the stove in here, delivered the coal, and live and learn. It was a little learning process. Had uh there's some some things you gotta learn. You gotta you gotta keep the damper. It's got an automatic dampener on the back here. This little door down here adjust the airflow going in so right now she's closed off and if we come up here and we turn this little dial and the further that dial around is the hotter it's going to burn when the coal stove gets to the temperature it needs the little door trips shut and it cuts off the oxygen to it and then it won't overheat and I did learn that if you give it too much air it does burn a little fast and I've got this little gauge on here and it will get up you'll smell the hot metal and you gotta shut off the air to it but other than that, it's very simple, very cheap, very efficient. Whether it's snowing and blowing and the power's out or you got power, you just kick on this fan on the back and you've got nice warm heat. And that's how I heat my house.